just put a new solo valve on there. Um, the old one was leaking. Uh, so, new valve, a kilo of um, 413A this is running on. It's an R12 drop in. Um, it's otherwise known as R49. Um, and we've adjusted the expansion valve, we changed that a month or two back. Um, and we're just getting ice on all the coils now. Just just coming around the last one there. Um, and you, you set these up, um, it's not very technical. Um, don't mess around taking superheat measurements, you just basically set them up so they'll frost to the end of the coil. But they don't really, you don't want them frosting out of the tank. So, you know, if it frosts up to here, we're, we're, bit, we're happy with that. But usually just to the end of the coil there is enough. Um, but the trouble with these is, is they need ice on all the pipes to set them up. Because um, you can open the valve way too much if there's no ice on here. There'd be more load than it can deal with. And then once it's built a bit of ice up, it'll be frosting back the compressor. <coughs> Anyway, we just noticed that tape's peeling off of there. Um, behind that little place where the, the uh, thermometer is, clamped to the milk vessel, so we're going to peel that tape off and try and dry it off and then put some more duct tape over it. Yeah. Right, there we go. That's a new bit of tape across the top there. Um, that hot water um, on the inside um, makes all the dampness evaporate on the outside to the taper stick. You don't want to go too hot or you'll um, um, you go over the top of the scale on that gauge and damage it. Oh, ice banks just creeping around that corner. 